Hi, and welcome to The Travel Boss. In this video, we're going to explore the top 10 things to do in Oslo. Oslo is the capital and largest city of Norway, located in the southern part of the country at the head of the Oslofjord. It has a population of approximately 700,000 people and is known for its beautiful parks, museums, and waterfront. The city is also a hub for Norwegian culture, education, and politics, and is home to several universities, research institutions, and government offices. Let's get started. 10. Visit the Vigilant Sculpture Park. The Vigilant Sculpture Park is a unique and must-see attraction in Oslo. It is the largest sculpture park in the world created by a single artist, Norwegian sculptor Gustav Vigeland. The park features over 200 bronze, granite, and cast iron sculptures, including the iconic monolith, which is a 46-foot-tall column made up of 121 human figures. In addition to the impressive sculptures, the park is also a beautiful green space with sprawling lawns, well-manicured gardens, and winding paths that lead visitors through the different sections of the park. It's a great place to relax, have a picnic, or take a walk, especially during the summer months when the park comes alive with outdoor concerts, festivals, and other events. 9. Explore the Viking Ship Museum Exploring the Viking Ship Museum is a must-do activity in Oslo, for anyone interested in history and archaeology, the museum houses three 1,000-year-old Viking ships that have been remarkably preserved. These ships were used for trading, exploration, and even warfare, and seeing them up close is a unique and awe-inspiring experience. In addition to the ships themselves, the museum also has a wealth of exhibits that explore the daily lives, beliefs, and practices of the Viking people. You'll see artifacts such as tools, weapons, jewelry, and household items, as well as learn about their religion, mythology, and social hierarchy. Overall, exploring the Viking Ship Museum is an informative and enjoyable experience that offers a fascinating glimpse into the world of the Viking people. 8. Take a stroll through the Akershus Fortress. Taking the stroll through the Akershus Fortress is an absolute must-do activity in Oslo. The fortress, which dates back to the 13th century, is not only a beautiful and historic landmark, but also a great place to learn about Norwegian history and culture. You'll have the opportunity to explore a medieval castle, see beautiful architecture and art, and enjoy stunning views of the city and surrounding fjord. The fortress is also a popular venue for cultural events, adding to its appeal as a destination for visitors. Overall, whether you're interested in history, architecture, or just looking for a beautiful place to take a stroll, the Akershus Fortress is definitely worth a visit. 7. Visit the Oslo Opera House Visiting the Oslo Opera House is a must-do activity in Oslo for anyone interested in architecture, the arts, or just looking for a beautiful and unique experience. The Opera House, which opened in 2008, is a stunning example of contemporary Scandinavian design with its clean lines, white marble exterior, and sloping roof that doubles as a public terrace with panoramic views of the city and harbor. In addition to its architectural beauty, the Opera House is a hub for the performing arts, with a full calendar of operas, ballets, concerts, and other performances. Visitors can take a guided tour of the building to learn more about its design and construction, or attend a performance to experience the world-class acoustics and talented performers. Overall, visiting the Oslo Opera House is a memorable and enriching experience that combines art, architecture, and entertainment in a truly unique way. 6. Wander Around the Oslo Cathedral Wandering around the Oslo Cathedral, also known as the Oslo Donkirk, is an excellent way to explore Norway's rich religious history and appreciate the beauty of its architecture. The cathedral dates back to the 17th century and has been rebuilt and restored several times over the years, with a mix of architectural styles that reflects its long and varied history. Visitors to the cathedral can admire its Baroque-style exterior, with its intricate carvings and imposing spires, as well as its ornate interior which features stained glass windows, intricate woodwork, and a stunning altar. Whether you're interested in history, architecture, or religion, wandering around the Oslo Cathedral is a unique and enriching experience that offers a glimpse into Norway's fascinating past and present. 5. Enjoy the view from the Holmli Kallen Ski Jump. This is a must-do activity for anyone visiting Oslo. The ski jump, which has been a popular attraction for over a century, is not only an iconic symbol of Norwegian winter sports, but also offers some of the most breathtaking views of the city and surrounding countryside. 
Visitors can take a ride to the top of the ski jump tower, which stands at over 60 meters tall, and enjoy panoramic views of the city skyline, the fjord, and the forested hillsides that surround Oslo. The tower also houses a museum dedicated to the history of skiing and ski jumping, with interactive exhibits and artifacts that offer insights into Norway's rich winter sports culture. Whether you are a fan of skiing, interested in history, or just looking for a beautiful place to take in the view, enjoying the view from the Holman Collin Ski Jump is an experience you won't want to miss while in Oslo. 4. See the Fram Museum Seeing the Fram Museum in Oslo is an excellent way to learn about the fascinating history of polar exploration and the role of Norway in this field. The museum is home to the Fram, a wooden ship that was used in several expeditions to the Arctic and Antarctic regions in the late 19th and early 20th centuries. Visitors to the museum can explore the interior of the Fram, learn about the lives of the explorers who sailed on her, and see a variety of artifacts and exhibits related to polar exploration, such as photographs, scientific equipment, and clothing. The museum also houses exhibits on the history of Norway's maritime industry and its role in global exploration. Overall, the Fram Museum is a unique and engaging experience that combines history, science, and adventure in a way that is both educational and entertaining. 3. Explore the Botanical Gardens at the University of Oslo Exploring the Botanical Gardens at the University of Oslo is an ideal way to experience the beauty and diversity of Norway's flora. The gardens are home to a vast collection of plants from all over the world, including rare and endangered species. Visitors can stroll through the various sections of the gardens, including the Alpine Garden, the Rock Garden, and the Arboretum, and see a variety of trees, shrubs, and flowers that thrive in Norway's diverse climates. Additionally, the botanical gardens are an excellent place to relax and enjoy nature in the heart of the city, with numerous benches, picnic areas, and walking paths throughout the gardens. Whether you're a Bainey enthusiast or simply looking for a peaceful oasis in the middle of the city, exploring the botanical gardens at the University of Oslo is a rewarding experience. 2. Take a walk through the colorful streets of the Grunerlaka neighborhood. The Grunerlaka neighborhood is known for its trendy cafes, bars, restaurants, and independent shops, making it a popular destination for locals and tourists alike. The streets are filled with colorful street art, murals, and graffiti and there is a lively atmosphere that is hard to resist. Visitors can also take a stroll through the lovely parks and gardens in the area, such as the Olaf Rise Plass and Sophie Bird Parken, which are perfect places to relax and enjoy the scenery. Whether you're looking for a great cup of coffee, unique shopping, or a glimpse into Oslo's alternative arts and culture scene, a walk through the colorful streets of the Grunerlaka neighborhood is a must-do activity. 1. Take a boat tour of the Oslo Fjord. The Oslo Fjord is a long, narrow inlet that stretches over 100 kilometers from the open sea to the city center, with dozens of islands and idyllic coastal towns along the way. A boat tour allows you to see the Fjord's natural beauty up close, from the rugged cliffs and rolling hills to the crystal clear waters and abundant marine life. Along the way, you can also stop at some of the charming islands and coastal towns such as Hovdoya, Gressholmen, and Oscarsborg Fortress and explore their unique attractions, including beaches, hiking trails, and museums. Whether you're a nature lover, history buff, or simply looking for a relaxing and scenic adventure, a boat tour of the Oslo Fjord is an experience you won't forget. That's all for today. If you want to see more videos like this, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so that you never miss an upload.